wait, there we go. Okay. I think we have sound again. I think it's running again. All right. Hi, internet. Uh, we're playing more Dave the Diver. If there's any technical difficulties, I'm trying out a new camera setup. We're still getting this new system working how I want. But anyway, let's go. Let's, let's get in here. Let's shoot some fish. Find some magical merfolk or something. Maybe time to upgrade your equipment. Yeah, I just upgraded my uh, carrying capacity, didn't I? <laughs> ah, I knew I forgot something. Forgot the uh, handkerchief. Oh well. Just wipe snot on my pants. No one's gonna notice. Do I have money for this? More air is probably good. Yeah, let's just do that because let's just play the game more, you know? We'll upgrade this other stuff in a second. When we get back. Or after we make some money at the, uh, you know. Sushi place. Bonchos. As always, we gotta shoot these guys. They are our most well-researched sushi ingredient. Um, we need to find computer chips. You would think things like you know, drone parts be close to the surface. But maybe not. Oh yeah, more eel. We're gonna just leave that uh, pot for now. We really need to find another gun. Oh. Need to find a gun. But for now. Gotta take care of a restaurant. I think I just spotted a gun down here. As long as we don't bother that parrot fish, he'll leave us alone, I think. Refillable oxygen? Sure. I just realized that I can't see my button prompts. Because I got my camera in the way. But I think it's C to refill oxygen. What is this stuff? Copper ore. I don't think that's food. Hey, Reuben. Did you get to do anything exciting this weekend? Gun. It's just a shock harpoon. Went to the library. That can be fun. Okay, let's just not torture that uh, squid any more than we have to. Did you find any good books or any good programs? This little fish looks, uh... Disabled. Okay, that's enough animal cruelty. Had to extend my book.
red sniper rifle. Has a laser sight. Red Angel of War penetrates targets. Mark this laser sight lies here. All right to change, right? There we go. Now I can shoot fish. And we're weighed down with a narrow barred Spanish mackerel. There is no information books, just the fun ones. That's odd. Did they get rid of a lot of the books to make room for computer stuff? I'm having to use my OBS partially to uh, see what's going on in the bottom part of my screen because my camera is standing right here. I mean, I guess as far as information books go, encyclopedias wouldn't really be worth much anymore. You know, because everything that's in the encyclopedia is going to be out of date compared to just going on the internet. They never had them. It's in all the libraries I know. Huh. Yeah, when I was a kid, your library would have, like, three different sets of encyclopedias. So you could compare them. Get more information that's still kind of outdated. You know, one year sets of encyclopedias would say that Czechoslovakia is a country, and one would just have it as part of the USSR still. <laughs> Catch one of these little things if I can. Cardinal fish. I'm pretty sure we caught them before. They're probably not very good sushi. Sometimes I feel nostalgic for things I never experienced. There's a word for that, but I don't know it. This little fish is just like... He wants to survive. And uh, that means he probably tastes very good. Deja vu? Deja vu is feeling like you experienced something you know you didn't experience. Nostalgia for something you never experienced is a little bit different. There's a little bit more of a positive or longing feeling associated with it. A lot of times, nostalgia, you kind of wish you could go back. Even if you know consciously that things weren't as good back then. The library has a manga event every second Monday of the month. Well, that's kind of cool. Are they translated into Dutch, or do they force the kids to learn two different uh, languages, either English or Japanese, to read them? Send them to the fish tank. So we still need to try to find a computer chip, a motor, and a camera lens, and I haven't found anything like that at all. It's probably deep in the ocean. Ruben doesn't know. Do you not, like, check out the manga? Are you not a fan of the Japanese comic books? More Sushi Diver Man, indeed. We're shooting fish. Especially small ones, because they're easy. Look at these guys. They're going to make it not easy, aren't they? Okay, that's just me being a... little trigger happy. Ruben says they just an event for those who read. 
just a vent for those who read, do read them. I think I've gotten enough tangs. We need to try to find that computer parts. We need to try to rebuild our friend's drone. Sleepy toy. Nope. So, Electron, do you do anything interesting this weekend? Enhanced harpoon tip. Better than nothing. Is that a shrimp? It's a batfish. No, 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 no. Anyway, yeah, I um. On Sunday, I went for a hike. Shock bang stick, nice. It was a place I'd been before, but, you know, places are a little different. You go them different times a year. The school will change the air siren. That seems not like a great plan. You kind of need to know what the air siren sounds like. Electron's just doing a lot of school. Gotta get a week ahead before the trip in Florida. Well, that's cool. I guess this time of year you wouldn't worry too much about getting sunburned in Florida, but the only time I went to Florida, everyone in my group got really badly sunburned. <laughs> Even the black kids. Hey, Triggerfish! It's an air siren, you will know. Well, what if there's like a ground siren and you don't know the difference? Oh yeah, we get points for catching the lionfish now. Last time Electron went to Florida, they were in the middle of a freak heat wave. How much hotter is that? Because Florida's crazy hot already. I probably shouldn't be going this deep without knowing where I can get more oxygen. Gun enhancement. I don't really want to shoot that shark. We were just helping to get rid of invasive species. Let's not hurt an endangered one. It was during a heat wave and... Oh. He said to look somewhere like this with the currents. Okay, we need to get out of here. We're gonna run out of oxygen if we don't. Ugh. Okay, there's our motor. And I thought I saw the last piece down here. Okay, so I think we got all our drone bits. Now we try to get out. Alive. Hope we are just locked in here. Sure, sea soy sauce, why not? Let's see, I also uh, played Celeste 64 this weekend. It's a uh, not exactly fan game. It's like a tribute game made for Celeste for its sixth anniversary by the original team. So it's got like uh, you know a lot of the original talent behind it. It's pretty good for something they say they made in a weekish. 
but it's also kind of frustrating. Is the game free? Yes. As long as you have a Windows computer, you can play it. I guess you also need a controller, like an Xbox controller or something that you can hook up to your PC. But yeah, as long as you have a Windows computer and a Xbox-ish controller, I'm playing it with a, um, a third-party Switch controller. And it even notices the button layout, which is nice. It changed the button names. Where? It's on itch.io. Just search for uh, Celeste64. Yeah, and you should be able to find it. The one thing I found kind of frustrating about it was its controls are a little bit wiggly. And then the camera itself just like doesn't really stay still. And you're trying to, you know, do these really straight jumps. And you can't do the really straight jumps because the camera swings a little bit. And so Madeline swings a little bit to the right or the left. I think I'm overburdened. I think it's probably time to go. Let's go make some sushi. Alright. We should be able to deploy a drone with this. The sirens go off the first Monday of the month. Oh, okay. So they change it, but you know they changed it because you know they're coming. It's like, oh, that noise is now the sirens. Oh. Hmm? You look pretty exhausted. Ha ha ha. Well, the sea currents did knock me around a bit into some spikes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, I see. It'll take a bit of time to repair the drone, drone and deploy it. Please wait a while. It should be done by tomorrow morning. Go about your business until then. Nah, it's regular every month here. Sirens. Where did I get salt? Oh, I got salt from beating that quest. Got it. Maybe I should upgrade my equipment some more. I mean, weight is really our issue still, so let's just upgrade this. Let's go make sushi. Oh, the entire Netherlands gets a uh, air raid. Air siren. Neat. Let's see, we need to... Let's research some food. Moray eel curry. Well, that sells for a lot if I can kill the moray eels. Sure. They have to know that the air sirens work. Striped red mullet tangle roll. I don't know where I find a striped red mullet. White travaili combo ochatsuke. Rice mixed with kelp broth and topped with grilled white travale. The thick scent of kelp and grilled fish will eat your stomach. I thought ochatsuke meant it was covered in tea. The cutscenes in this game are great, Electron. I think I'm going to try to find some... Uh, screenshots from them for my next uh, YouTube thumbnail. Yellowback. Well, we find these guys. So let's go ahead and research that. That's pretty expensive for how easy it is to get the ingredients. Got an achievement. Culinary research. Yeah, I've got my camera down in this corner of the screen, so I can't see when achievements pop up. Oops. Let's 
see. Menu. Menu for tonight is, as always, plenty of... Can I research? Can I upgrade this? I've got 22. How much take to upgrade them? All of them. For one more money. Nah, that's fine. We're gonna just put this on the menu. There. That's plenty of food for everyone. The technology cube calendar has been finished. The edges have been smoothed. Wouldn't a cube calendar only cover six months? Or do you put two months per cube? Or per, per side? I guess you can make like some sort of latching mechanism lets you open it up and then unfold it and then redo it inside out so like winter and spring are on one side of the cube and then you flip the cube inside out to get fall and summer those have their own blocks so you just use two blocks for your whole calendar uh, what do we got? Let's see. This will probably do well. I got a lot of them. Can we upgrade it? It'll cost half of them, but that's probably fine. Yep, nope, cutscene time. That's a lot for just upgrading some fish sushi. So you could use three cubes for the months and two for the days. If you used three cubes, you would have 18 sides for the months, though. What's something expensive we can put on the menu? Triggerfish. Takes... What's sake to upgrade it? All of them. But it jumps the money up by a lot. Okay, we won't have this on the menu, but we'll have it on the menu next time. Um, cardinal fish. Sure, let's enhance them. There are, like... Freely budget option. We gotta put something expensive on the menu. I don't have it yet because it's going to get graded now. <laughs> I have one piece of this and it costs 30 gold. They're not even good. put this on the menu, our lionfish, and then we'll end it with our one just absurdly expensive, not very good sushi. Which one, though? This one will make our customers slightly happier. There we go. We got plenty of sushi for everyone. If I wanted to hurt someone with it, I would just use the screwdriver in my backpack. Yeah, screwdriver definitely beats cube. Wooden cube. Except for range. It's a lot easier to throw a wooden cube across a room than to throw a screwdriver in a way that's effective. Um, for legal purposes, that was a joke. I don't think we need to hire more staff yet. Let's, let's go ahead and serve some sushi. Yeah, the smooth wooden cube is not as dangerous as the angular, sharp wooden cube. But you can still throw it pretty far. Probably. In Minecraft.
Electrons confused. That's good. That's for the better. For the best. Need to find a way to upgrade Dave's stamina. We're running low on wasabi. Let me take care of that. It's kind of a waste to make this much wasabi at the end of the night, though. Because, like, this place is a pretty crazy restaurant if they're using actual fresh grated wasabi. Um, didn't mean to do that. Um, are we done? Have we served everyone? We served a lot of cheap fish tonight, though. Top sales, blue tang, unsurprisingly. Net profits are down, aww. Ruben did quote-unquote threaten a kid with it. He just like had one, and he was like, when I was in the cafeteria of wrench, he was like, hey, teacher, he wanted to hurt me with a screwdriver, and the teacher just like, I don't know what he said, but he got punished because I'm on the good side of teachers. Oh, no. Electron's got mun munchos. Is that food, or is that, like, munchies wanting food? Hey, it's Dr. Bacon. Good morning. Sorry, I couldn't come by yesterday because of the symposium. Did you speak with Cobra? <laughs> Munchos is a potato chip brand. It's a good name, but it kind of sounds like a fake potato chip brand you see in the background of a cartoon. Oh, come to think of it, I got materials since Cobra said he was repairing a drone today. Oh, a bit late, aren't I? Ha ha ha. I repaired the drone just fine, thanks to you. I got some supplies as well. Here's the bombs you asked for. Also, oh, thank you. Dr. Bacon, will these do? All right, let's head back to that rock pile. Hi, Vopker. We're just shooting fish and bombing fragile but ever-changing ecosystems. It was the teacher he can call the first name. <laughs> that lets you get away with threatening a kid with a screwdriver. Don't push that too far, man. He was also done with this. He was also just done with his stupids. Oh, wait. I haven't finished. Starting today, the Cobra shop is officially open. One more thing I gotta spend money on. Oh, no. Huh? What is that? Ha, ah, deliveries have stopped, but with the drone in working order... I can transport three types of items a day. Talk to me and, and select the Cobra shop to see a list of changes every day. Ruben didn't threaten. He did not even speak. Just, what's it called? Brandishing? You brandished the screwdriver? I'll also buy some stuff you don't need. Check out the sell tab as well. I have a feeling you'll charge high prices, but it's nice to be able to prepare. Uh, 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 I won't charge high prices just because I've got the only business here, so don't be afraid to visit often. My microphone is sagging. Yeah, whatever, as long as it sounds fine. You showed the screwdriver. Yeah, it's called brandishing. If it's a weapon and you show it to someone, it's called brandishing. But I guess a screwdriver's not technically a weapon. I feel like you let your business tactics slip just now. In any case, it's time to head back to the rock pile where the signal from the sea people was detected. Yeah, 
you can buy auxiliary items and sell your items at the Cobra Shop. Cobra Shop's only accessible in the morning and afternoon. Purchase items can only be used for one day, so keep that in mind. So it's just like the things I find in the water. He's just, I guess, collecting them for me. Ah, just in case there's something worth documenting inside. How about taking this underwater camera with you? A camera? That's right. It will be Im it will be important for research to record important data with photos. Picture didn't happen. Take the camera and I'll let you know when I find the right place to use it. Because he's already got a camera down there, apparently. He's watching me all the time. If you're interested, I won't miss anything. If not interested, too bad. So I guess we should focus on... Collecting new fish, not just blue tangs. But, they're right here, so... We'll get the one. Katana? Cheap Japanese sword. A long, sharp samurai sword. Looks though it might be imbued with a warrior's hatred, but it's actually being sold for cheap at the night market. We got a sword! Brand Show Blue Tango's Restaurant. Oh, Bancho's Blue Tango Restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bancho's all about the, uh, the blue... Blue Tang. It's like our... What's the word? I'm not gonna switch a... Samurai sword for a shock baton. Alright, let's keep going. Pick up our blue tangs as we go. Probably should have picked up that extra oxygen just in case. Ha ha! Samurai sword beach parrot fish. Trigger fish, whatever it's called. That's a parrotfish. <laughs> Splatana! Okay, we got an emergency exit there. That will help. We're not gonna fight the shark with a katana, though. Ruben's watched some of Team Fortress 2 stuff, and it's nice to see the original memes. Poison harpoon, nah. That seems unethical. Leave me alone, saw shark. We're here. Try placing one of the bombs Cobra gave you in that rock pile. All good. You know, it's sort of hard to see through the radio. We can't have you torn to a thousand pieces and become food for the sharks. That's a scary thing to say with such a casual voice. Now, back away from the bomb for a bit. Triggerfish, juice what is the new redemption thing? Um, it just says, wow! And you can only do it once per stream. Here it goes. Bombs underground. Here we go. We are not nearly far enough from that bomb. Yeah, like that. And now everyone's exhausted there. What? Except for Vopker. Now the road's clear. There's a faint light coming from inside. Go on in. Ugh, what if there's a monster or something inside? 
That would be also an amazing scientific discovery. There it goes. Go to a new region. We're probably going to die if we go to the new region. But... Yeah, we need to get out. Oh, wow. Last second, literally. So we need to upgrade my dive suits before I can safely go to the Mer people's sea people's house. You should add your own attempt at the wow after it. Oh, add my own attempt at the wow! Mm. The wow was kind of something I could get that worked out of the box. I would have to actually record things and edit. I'm lazy, guys. All right, let's upgrade my suit, because we definitely need to be able to go deeper. That's probably good for now. Think about my 6,280... or 8... 62,800 points. Or is it more than that? And you're real four fans. So instead of working on the stream, I've been working like odd jobs for this one of my mom's friends. This week, we did more work to take apart a fence, and also to pull up some wires that were underground. And I was dumb, and just like, yanked these wires out of the ground without digging them up or anything first. So, I spent Saturday with kind of a sword back. Yes! We got the sword back! Now, what kind of gun are we going to get? That's better than the streams. I mean, money is nice. I'm definitely getting paid more than I'm worth for the work. Also, another friend of mine was like... Do you think you could house sit for me when I go on vacation? I don't know if he's going to pay me for it decently, but like... I might go for that. I'm going for these guys because we just got research a recipe for them. Oh no, I got a cardinal fish. I wanted to catch this little guy. That was weird. First, you, then the stream. What is housing? Uh, house sitting is when someone's not home, but they need someone to take care of their house. In his case, he's got a cat. And it's probably cheaper to hire me to look after the cat than it is to, like, send it to a, um... A cat daycare for a week. And watering plants. He may or may not have plants I need to water. What kind of... Do I have a gun? Alright, 
All right, let's get down. Hopefully we can get to the um, secret underwater world. Uh, I would go for this guy, but he's too close to the shark. Silver bowl. Well, that's money. Probably shouldn't pick up lead while I'm trying to swim around. Make sure we're topped up on oxygen. Because we're probably going to get attacked by a shark again. I deserve that. Oops. Cuttlefish. It's not even a squid, it's a cuttlefish. Electron still eagerly awaiting the level head stream. That was a very lucky shot. Ooh. King Seaman. Sea People Record Chamber. Wow. This place is wow. And see, so you guys used up your wows already. It appears to be some kind of sea people record chamber. My lucky feeling was correct. There definitely was a sea people civilization in this region. Look at that mural back there. No human could have painted that so deep underwater. Yeah, we probably would have gotten nitrogen poisoning by now. Maybe these are from some ancient civilization that sank from seismic activity? A good point. But that style of painting and architecture can't be seen anywhere above ground. Yeah, the robot didn't do a good job. Please first investigate this place. I'm sure you'll find a variety of interesting clues. Hey, do they make, um, decorative cursors anymore for windows? Because I really should have, like, a fish or something to point around instead of this normal mouse. That used to be a thing in, like, Windows 98, but I haven't played with it since then. <laughs> My WoW is better than the OG. Uh, thanks. I don't know. Anyway, investigate, even though I'm way down. This can't be a natural pillar. There are even mysterious characters engraved in it. Big beefy fish man. This mural seems to be of a warrior or king. It looks powerful. There seems to be scales in the lower body. Is this really a mural of the sea people? Electron had a blue mark or a cursor before he had a Electron's friend had a blue cursor before he got a new laptop. Okay, I'll have to look into that. That'll be easy. That should be easy to fix. Painting of dolphins and marine plants. Apparently the sea people could draw, not only write. Good, that should be enough. I would like to research a little more, so please take a photo with the camera I gave you. I don't know how to do that, dude. Oh, we just go to the camera icon, that works. New content. Oh boy, content! A camera icon indicates you can take pictures. Check your objectives on the top left. Use space to adjust the focus, and remove your hand to take the picture. Make sure your timing matches the green indicators. Ah, that's pretty good. 
I think that means we got everything. Huh. I see something on the floor there. Oh, it might be another Sea People artifact. Bring it to me! Yeah, we would have drowned if I hadn't, uh... Upgraded my suit before we got here. Ruben's cursor is now a fish. Nice. Oh no. The nitrogen toxicity is kicking in again. Dave's hallucinating. Hmm. A record chamber filled with sea people symbols. What could they have written? More importantly, didn't you hear something? What do you mean? I didn't hear anything over the radio. Come back up to the boat for now. Man, when Dave tries to hustle, he does not go very fast. But it looks like my amount of oxygen is fixed inside of here. It's like the opposite of cave diving. It's extra safe inside this cave. Dave the slow diver. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how... Uh, Hydrodynamic he is. All right, we just injured that fish for no reason. Because, like, you wouldn't think a uh, puffer fish would be all that hydrodynamic, but apparently they're very hydrodynamic despite being cube-shaped. I saw a shooting star. Hmm. A sea people artifact. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, I'm glad you like it. I'll have to analyze this artifact and the mural further at my lab. Too much Minecraft. Are they in Minecraft? Pufferfish? I guess everything in Minecraft's cube shaped though. Ah, uh, this looks. Oh. Hey, hey, you there! I heard an explosion in the sea. Do you know what's going on? Oh, about that. Um, cubes aren't real. I mean, I guess I don't see any perfect cubes around me. Maybe they're not real. People make traps with, I guess, puffer fish all the time? Neat. We are Sea Blue. We are an organization that tracks down people who pollute this beautiful sea and reports them to someone. I sometimes carry out justice myself for those that commit particularly evil deeds. No, oh, you serious, man. I've had reports of someone who's been engaging in reckless destruction of the environment in these parts. I don't know if it was you, but you better be aware of this. Whoever harms the Great Sea will have to contend with Sea Blue. And me, John Watson. Now then, be ever grateful to the sea and never lose your love for it. I'll be leaving for now. Dot dot dot. We're watching you. So they leave the puffer fish under a door that will stab them and poison them. That's... That's improvisation right there. That's making the best out of nature's bounty. What a creepy dude. Will we be okay? Is he mad that I'm shooting fish? Sea Blue? That group is infamous. They commit acts of violence under the pretext of environmental protection. Another game that turns into a punch out, like Delta Rune. Are they gonna make me tap the A and D button to punch people? 
That seems like how this game would work. Wow. It's mostly the large corporations with big fishing businesses. Aww. And not the small fisheries that harm the environment most. They say nothing to the corporations, however. Yeah, let's not get into, like, Chinese poaching vessels or anything like that. Wow. That's a little heavy for this stream. I expect they're taking bribes or something unsavory like that. Yeah. That guy looked like bad news, says the guy who looks like this. Aww. It won't do you any good to be on their radar. Be careful. We found rope. So I can just sell this, right? Can't do the shop unless it's morning or afternoon. Right, like you said. By the way, Dave, have you been making good use of your gun? Yes, but I get less meat if I kill with a gun. That's often the case with smaller fish. But with stronger, bigger fish, it'll be easier to weaken them a bit first. If they're weakened, they'll show changes like bleeding or swaying. Observe them carefully. We are Monster Hunter now. Yes. Mm. I see. I have to consider the timing carefully. Who said anything about timing, Dave? No. I guess timing of when to use the gun. Sure. If you need good guns, you can craft them at Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. Don't forget it. VIP feared Vincent the Gourmet. Oh, Yui's cute. Hello, viewers, this is Yui from the TV show Star the Chef. Today, I've come to a seaside sushi bar that's all the rage on Cooksta, Bancho Sushi. In this sushi bar that's famous for its exotic sushi, we have with us the legendary sushi expert, Vincent Yamaoka. Ahem. I am Vincent Yamaoka. Hello, Vincent. How would you define sushi? Sushi is a very simple dish. It's only rice, vinegar, wasabi, and the fish that goes on top. Top. Everything hangs upon these ingredients. However, simple does not mean easy. Listen. How good the ingredients are, how they were stored and aged, how they were cut, how the rice was cooked, how it's molded. All these things matter in the art of sushi. Yes. I see. In that case, what do you think of the exotic sushi that Bancho Sushi is famous for? We're famous for our blue tang. Say something about it. The ingredients for sushi have long been similar. The king of fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. We haven't served any tuna at this restaurant. Sir, I think you're barking up the wrong tree. Below that, the olive flounder and the amberjack with right and red meat. All verified ingredients, you understand. To dare to use new ingredients despite the many proven ones that existed from the Edo era. Regardless of the taste, this shows a lack of respect. Oh man, he's gonna hate our sushi place. You have once criticized California rolls as not being real sushi. Yeah, but they're real good. We're curious to see what your opinion on Banjo Sushi will be. Now then, let's start by introducing the star of today's show. This is the owner, Bancho. Hmm, this is a bit sudden. I'm called Bon- He's quite reticent. That can only mean he speaks through his cooking. Hit him with the shark head. We didn't catch any sharks today, oh no! This sushi bar offers a fantastic view, as it's near the giant blue hole, and the chef sure gives off the vibes of a master. I'm really looking forward to how the food will taste. Vincent, which food will you be trying? I'm not really interested in the food of a place that's so focused on appearances. You there, Boncho, was it? Your name? Let me take a look at what you can do. Let me see. Bring me something to surprise me. Didn't you just say that you want like three different kinds of fish and that's it? How are we gonna surprise you with tuna? That we don't have, by the way. Wow, Vincent offers a daring provocation. He left the menu for the chef to decide, which is pretty standard in sushi restaurants, but whatever. 
I can't just sit by and listen to your prejudiced thinking. Give me two days. I'll be sure to shock you. A standoff between a traditional gourmet and an exotic chef. Let's not examine that description too much. Things are getting real interesting. We'll come to you live on the next episode. Don't forget to tune in next time to Star the Chef. Um, okay. What are you thinking? What are you going to do? A man does not run from a challenge. I've thought of something. Will you get me the ingredients? I need sea grapes and white spotted jellyfish. I think sea grapes are a type of tunicate, which are... Basically, animal life branched off into two branches. There's the branch that has vertebrates, echinoderms, and then the other branch that has everything else. <coughs> sea grapes are on the vertebrate side, but the echinoderms, they're more related to vertebrates, but instead of like being, you know, a thing with a spine, they just like kind of swim around as a little thing with a spine until they find somewhere to settle down and then they eat their own brain and just kind of sit there and filter feed for the rest of their lives. So basically, he's having me jump across one of the weirdest squishy jelly things in the animal kingdom and one of the most common jellyfishes in the animal kingdom. Weird. You don't normally think of goo animals as sushi ingredients. <clears throat> Both can be harvested at the limestone cave about 100 meters down in the depths. Hmm, you're gonna make sushi with those. Okay, a limestone cave, right? I'll go look for them. New content, VIPs. Sometimes a VIP customer will order a dish that's not on the menu. Procure the ingredients by the designated date. Well, we got salt. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna do tonight's menu and do this chef or shift, and then I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. Cause my voice is starting to go a little bit. Okay, well we'll make a lot of money if we sell these. I can upgrade it. But I'll take all my yellows. So let's not upgrade it right now. Let's just sell it as is. And then as always, we got our blue tang. It costs 22 to enhance it, right? Yeah, so we can't do that. Put 10 of them on there. Parrotfish, how much take to enhance that? Half. Well, it makes people a lot happier. We'll do it just so we get one more silly cutscene. What? Blue crab, blue tang, there is a pattern. I guess so, yeah. Makes us barely any more money. And it's not even as good. Like, this is a good, a kind of good deal, because it's expensive, but it's a little bit better than our blue tang, but our blue tang is definitely the best thing we got on the menu. And cheap. What else we got? We got Cuttlefish. We've only got one of those. Let's serve our triggerfish. And then our one thing. What's our one thing that'll make people the happiest? I mean, cardinal fish right here is the best buy.
But if we put something that costs only three gold on our menu, that'll make us look cheap. So one person gets a lionfish. Yeah, just one. That's all we got. That's 25, 7, 28, ser 28 servings of sushi. We can serve plenty of people. And we got the norimaki if people run out. If we run out of fish. Here we go. Bom, 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 bom. Dave wiping off his uh, perspiration before serving people tea because he was a little worried that we weren't going to get any customers tonight. Perfect, as always. There's a blue tang. Oh no, they're all at the end. I don't know if Dave's gonna make it. Usually people stop asking for tea pretty early on. Okay, I got the rhythm on that. No! Okay, we made it. We ended up with one wasted soup. What a shame. Made some good profits, though. Because that one boiled yellow-black fusier that we didn't throw away. It's a shame we didn't get to sell both of them. Hey, sea people! Oh no! It's eating them like... like feeding krill to a pet octopus. Oh no, what do you want now, Dr. Bacon? Hmm, Dave. Yes, Dr. Bacon? Dave! Yes. Do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? The good news. Haha, <laughs> you're the positive type. I studied the bracelet you brought me yesterday. It was from the sea people, as I expected. Whoa, so it's an ancient artifact? The bracelet seems to be imbued with a mysterious power. What's it do? Here, you can wear this. What? Me? I mean, I'm grateful, but why? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> who knows? There might be some frightening sea people curse on it. Mion. Well, in any case, try it on first. Sea People Bracelet, a bracelet shaped sea people artifact. Has a mysterious energy that aids breathing. Survive for a certain period after running out of oxygen. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow, I feel some kind of new power inside of me. Aha, glad to hear nothing bad happened. You'll be able to check your diver box for more information about the charm you're wearing. Oh, and I have more great news. I've analyzed the artifacts and investigation data. I was able to find a very strong signal in the ocean depths. This was the right place. The objects didn't just float over here. I have a feeling the giant blue hole might that suddenly appeared is serving as a conduit to a sea people site. 
A very lucky opportunity. That just sounds like I have to risk my life again. So, what's the bad news? Hmm. In order to venture deep, you'll need a deep sea headlamp. Deliveries have stopped right now for some reason, so getting one is out of the question. Maybe Duff will have one? He has all sorts of things. Hmm, you're right. Try contacting Duff first, will you? We have... Oh, we can equip two charms. You can equip charms and swap them out in the inventory. Charms have various effects that will help you out in the game, so don't forget to try them if you find them. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. I guess we got to remember to get those sea grapes and jellyfish, because we got a time limit on that. I should upgrade my suit, if I can, before we do that. It costs half our money, but it'll make us a lot safer going really deep. Okay, so, um, I will be back tomorrow to play some Salmon Run. I probably won't stream again on Wednesday, but I am planning on Thursday. I think that there's a random weapon. Let me check if there's a random weapon rotation on Salmon Run this weekend. Because if there is, then I might be streaming on Saturday, too. February 10th. Yeah. Yeah, so this Saturday there's going to be a at least one random weapon rotation. So we'll probably do a little bit of streaming on Saturday as well. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, the music's going to cut up. The music is going to cut off for a second while I get things ready to say bye. But uh, y'all take care of yourselves until I see you again. Bye for now.